Welcome to the movie and TV shows. I'm your host Alex and I'm going to talk about Secret Invasion Episode 4. Starting with Gaia. As everyone expected Gaia would have the powers of a Super Skrull and would be able to regenerate and not be dead. The problem is how it was explained by the episode. According to the episode, Gaia gets information on how to use the machine by copying the memory of human Rosa Dalton trapped in the Skrull base. From what is explained in the series and in the comics, Skrulls copy part of human memory and appearance. Skrull do not share memories with the copied human enemy. Skrull copy memories and appearances and they don't create a permanent neural connection with the human. Making the Skrull only have recent memories of the human and not all of the copied human's memories. If the Rosa Dalton we saw in previous episodes was a Skrull that copied the mind and body of the real Rosa Dalton, Gaia would have no way of having Skrull Rosa Dalton's memories in human Rosa Dalton's mind. Gaia would only be able to know how the Skrull machine works if Gaia copies the memories of Rosa Dalton Skrull, who was the one who worked on the Skrull machine. Rosa Dalton Skrull's memories are not the memories of the imprisoned human Rosa Dalton. And the memories made by the Skrulls are not sent to the trapped human. If the Rosa Dalton we saw in previous episodes is a human working for the Skrulls, and after working she was imprisoned, Gaia would be able to know how to use the Super Skrull machine. If Gaia got those memories from the imprisoned human Rosa Dalton, it is correct to say that the Skrulls are in a constant neural connection with the human and the new memories made by the Skrull are being sent to the imprisoned human that were copied by a Skrull. Following what the series shows, the imprisoned humans are being fed by the new memories made by the Skrulls. Only then would the human Rosa Dalton trapped in the Skrull base have the memory of how to use the Super Skrull machine, as these memories are memories of the Skrull Rose Dalton. Or the conception of how Skrull powers work has been changed to benefit the character Gaia. I still believe Gaia's human appearance is Abigail Brand's. And so Marvel can keep Amelia Clark in the universe of Marvel movies representing Abigail Brand in the next movies after the end of the Secret Invasion series. No need to keep her as a Skrull. Even as Gaia Amelia Clark also works as an agent for Sabre to continue in the Marvel movie universe. Rhodes, what everyone knew was revealed and he is a Skrull in disguise. And this Skrull is called Rava, which in the comics is a Skrull who stands against the Skrull Empire. Who has a brief appearance and can't even transform into other people. But Rava has received a new TV series adaptation. Fury and Vara have a few moments in the series, Vara reveals that she copied Dr. Priscilla Davies. Doctor who studied human cells. And it was probably with the knowledge of this research of real Dr. Priscilla Davies that the Super Skrull project started, since we have Vara working with Gravik. And there is a talk about the Avengers which I believe is just to make connections between the Marvel movies and series. Not wanting to say that superheroes will appear in the series. Since the director doesn't follow what happens in the comics. Gravik continues to try to destroy Fury little by little, this time Gravik kills Talos. And Fury discovers that Gravik has a few more new powers. Gravik and his team pretend to be Russians attacking the American president, following the plan to start a war between the two nations. And the English soldiers who reinforce the American president's entourage see that Talos was a Skrull and was helping Fury to save the president. So we have in the next few episodes. Fury winning his pardon and his position again and Gravik's plans unmasked for the American government. With the death of Talos we will have Gaia replacing and taking over Talos' legacy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a possible end of season anesthesia for the Skrulls just as Talos wished. Episode 4 was an episode with more action than the others, as Marvel always repeats the plot progress method but it was the shortest episode we had so far. This was the analysis for episode 4 of Secret Invasion, please leave your like, 
Leave your comment and follow the channel and share the video. Thank you very much. I see you next time.